Once upon a time, there was these two little children, a boy and a girl. One's name was Ivan, one's name was Samantha. They lived on the other side of a big woods. Their mother said, we need eggs and milk. Can you guys please go and get eggs and milk before the store closes? Well, the store closes very soon. And the only way to stop from the store being closed before they get there is to cut through the woods. So they got into the trail. How long does it take to get to the store from the it, woods? It, it, it takes some time. So Two they minutes. held each other's hand and they ran through the woods as fast as they could. It was still daylight. And then they got there and they got the bread and milk and they said... Let's look at some other stuff. And by the time we looked at some other stuff, it was too late. It had gotten dark. And no. they had to walk through the woods during the dark. Well, Ivan and Samantha both started walking. And all of a sudden they thought, we don't even have a flashlight. How are we going to be able to determine what's going to happen? We can't see where we're going. Ivan said, Help! And no one answered. It was hours. Surely if their mom would have gotten worried by now. Ivan started calling, Help! Samantha started crying. And then they saw in the distance a small light. And they walked all the way up to it in the woods. And it was a tiny little house, shabby. It just looked, you know, unlived in. But there was a light in the window. Ivan said, they probably got a phone. So Ivan knocked on the door. No one's here, Samantha said. And this little old lady answered the door. She said, hi. Come on in, children. You look like you could use some cookies. I've baked you some cookies. Come in, child. Come in. Well, Ivan came in there, and Samantha came in there, and they sat down. And it was a tiny little house. And it smelled like cookies in there. And this old lady, she had gray hair and black eyes and a kind of pointed nose. And she brought cookies to Ivan. She goes, here, here, son. Well, mm -hmm. Ivan ate his. Samantha ate hers. And all of a sudden, they started feeling groggy. And Ivan said, can I use your phone? She goes, sure, come use it. Come follow me. And she took Ivan's hand. And he looked, and Samantha was sleeping. And he said, I feel so tired. And the lady said, it's normal. You've had a rough night. Sleep here, and when the light comes in the morning, you can go home. And Ivan said, yeah. Well, at least a minute or two went by. It seemed like a minute or two, but technically it was longer. Ivan woke up, and he heard Samantha crying. And then all of a sudden, he looked over, and he saw this little old lady with this big guy and they were eating Samantha's toes off and she was saying please help mommy help well then all of a sudden Ivan jumped up and that weird guy grabbed Ivan and he said look mom another one mom <laughs> can I have this one's toes mom look it's juicy she said now don't be such a glutton. You make sure that you be quiet on this thing. Because we don't want everyone to know what we're doing to all these children. Okay, Mom. So then, all of a sudden... Quiet, Bubba. All of a sudden, she, she looked at Smith and Smith had passed out. She said, put this one in the pot. Cletus, put this one in the pot. And Cletus picked her up and put her in the pot. And they filled it up with a little bit of water, carrots and celery, and a big onion. And they put the big lid on it. And then all of a sudden, I've, he says, what are you guys doing? She says, be quiet. Take him to the cellar, Cletus. 
Cletus grabbed up little Ivan and took him downstairs. On the wall were all these little kids crying. They were hung up with a tiny little rope. And most of them were missing their arms and legs. And they were just still crying. Oh, please, look what's happening to us. Please help us. And then Ivan got put in a little birdcage there. And then Cletus went up. And Ivan started hearing somebody outside saying, Ivan! Samantha! And he said, that's, that's Dad! And he screamed, Dad! Dad! Help me! And then the dad said, Did you hear that? And he said to his brother, I think they're in the house. And they went to the house, knocked on the door, and a little old lady answered. She goes, we haven't seen any kids here. Where do you live? I can tell you if we see them. And then he heard, help. And the little old lady said, that was just our parrot. And the dad said, that was my son. And he blew through the door, and there was Cletus. And he grabbed dad. And he made dad look like a small man. But Dad was fighting for his children. So Dad stuck his finger in Cletus' eye. And Cletus cried, oh, oh, help me. And then he kicked Cletus out the front door and shut it. And the little old lady said, I'm going to put a spell on you. And I'm going to. And before he said that, shapowie. Dad laid old little old lady out. She laid on the ground, just knocked out. And Samantha hadn't got put in the oven yet. So he hurried up and got her out. And then he went downstairs and he saw Ivan there and he got him out of the cage and they all untied every little kid and they marched them all out, went to the sheriff's department and had the old lady with Cletus in the back of their trucks. And it turns out that this old lady's been doing this for missing children all these years. And she got life in prison. The end.